Larry Hill is a lifelong artist, creating and sharing his passion. His studio is filled with vibrant scenes familiar to locals. I'm an artist of oils and watercolors, and I paint Northwest Oklahoma as we are today. The canvas for many of his pieces are natural, like this piece of pecan wood or selenite, which is found in this part of Northwest Oklahoma. I also work with selenite crystal, a naturally occurring crystal, which is native to our area. Um, if you ever heard of the Gloss Mountains, the gloss in those mountains is small bits of that. He shares his gift through art and by teaching others. The studio offers a variety of classes for kids and adults, beginners to advanced. It's actually pretty simple. I want to be able to share art with anybody that's interested. Art's fun. Let's have some fun with it. If you ever put a brush in, a, in the hand of a kid, they just like zoom, take off with it. They don't know enough to know that they can't do anything, so they do amazing, wonderful things. And I like to share in that. Get a piece of clay, wedge the clay, which is basically preparing the clay, getting the bubbles yeah, yeah, out. Yeah. I tried my hand at pottery during a class. Saying? It was fun, okay. but let's just say it didn't come naturally for me. What we try to do is get about half an inch from the bottom. Dishes. <laughs> I like to say it's dishes, it's all functional. The studio features work by several artists, all unique and creative. We saw beautiful, bold pieces of pottery. I like to experiment with a lot of different colors. A lot of people prefer, um, you know, earth tones and browns and, you know, beiges and stuff like that. And I like bold, bright colors. I think everyone needs some form to create in and I think it just makes you feel better, makes you happy, makes you enjoy life more. I take old children's books and turn them into brand new handmade journals. Um, I salvage all of my art so and it's all from old books that can't be resold or anything like that. It's getting in there and you get paint on you and you make a big old mess and have a blast. Just because you're 85 years old doesn't mean you're not a kid. You know, come on, uh, you can have fun and go, woo, when you're 85, at least I'm hoping. Sounds like a pretty good plan. In my hometown, Woodward, I'm Tina McGarry, Discovering Oklahoma.